Hey there, this is Tim. And this is George, guys. From Insert Coin Theater, and you are watching Top X. The brand new Top X. Well, the second episode. It's not quite brand new. The second new Top X. <laughs> and this is episode two of Top X, where we're going to be going through our top five rhythm games. Rhythm games. Oomst we got so much rhythm. Ats, oomst, ats. Okay, that's enough mm, of that. Rhythm, yeah. Rhythm, yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. You're... That's why they made the games, not after yeah, us. Exactly. <laughs> it's not the Tim and George rhythm <laughs> Dance game. Dance off. So, our number five choice is Dance Dance Revolution and Step Mania. I used to be pretty good at Dance Dance, man. I find that hard to believe. I, you're, you're a big man. I know. You're a big I, man. I, there's, there's some techniques that are involved that you got to... You know that <laughs> bar behind it? Do you just lean on it? it? Yeah. Wow. I'm, that's the way. That's... I could do hard, man. Really? I wasn't like pro, but... Okay, okay. Well, let me read this. <laughs> so, DDR set the standard for dancing rhythm games back in 1998, hitting arcades in Japan and later PlayStation with a dance pad controller. Games such as Pump It Up in Korea and In the Groove came out to cash in on the craze. Step Mania was a hugely popular game during my high school years between 2003 and... 2007 and kids playing on the uh, school computers in between classes or during classes didn't get a whole lot done uh, in my opinion the musical selections really helped drive electronic dance music or yes. EDM into the limelight of many who would have otherwise missed it in these formative years of the music I know genre God, such good genre, I, I agree too. it's like my it favorite is. of all time it is and I, I give I give DDR a lot of credit for it massive really library do. massive massive and great great, great songs yep. oh yeah so love a lot of I'm horrible I at still those listen games. to them now some of the songs I get winded just watching people play <laughs> I'm just like oh, oh, why is this legs moving so much <laughs> it's not natural. <laughs> yeah, really good game. All right, number four, Patapon. Patapon. You ever play Patapon? I don't think so, man. That's you. All right, well, it's pretty good. <laughs> so um, Patapon is a PSP game, and the title being uh, Onomatopoeia, which is words that sound like noises. I just like blew Or that mind. mean noises. Yeah, uh, for marching, which is pata in, J in Japanese, and drum, which is pon. So the little single-eyed tribal guys... Uh, um, they follow your lead as the player, and they, uh, you as a player, act as a deity and march them into battle by beating drums. And the game was uh, was unique and presented in a two D silhouette form, kind of like Limbo. Ah. Uh. And its simplicity was defini definitely deceiving, as the game presented a lot of challenge and a good amount of depth with equipping troops with weapons and armor, and uh, you earned those from mini games or crafting. So pat upon. Pat upon. Was four. it violent? A little, oh. yeah. It's cool. It's cool game. Probably not too bad. Yeah, not not too bad. Number three, Space Channel Five. Wow, Did you ever pretty play? lady in a skirt. Did you ever play Space Channel Five? Yeah. You love Ooh La La. Yeah. So She's my wife. So Space Channel Five is a Dreamcast game released in Japan in 1999, and the U.S. and the EU in 2000. And you play Ooh La La, which is U L A L A, a dancing reporter for Space Channel Five. Go figure. And who shakes her Pretty groove important. thing yeah. through levels to free hostages and defeat the bad guys. The commands are spoken by the enemies, and the player must replicate them to the rhythm. There was a lot of challenge, and the colors were bright and fun, and the 1960s space-style motif... Jetsons, almost. Yeah, added an interesting mo uh, interesting theme to an already interesting rhythmic style. Yeah, there's... That's such a good game. All those games. Ugh, that's why it's top X. Exactly. You have to shout it to you guys. It's the top games. Of X. Number two, Pa Rappa the Rapper. God, man. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Here yeah. comes the cheese. <laughs> exactly. Pa Rappa the Rapper preceded Space Channel 5. Did you know that? Did it? Came it? Out, yeah, it came out pretty far before it, about three years before wow. it. Um, and uh, it came out in 96 in Japan. And in the U.S. and PAL territories in 97. And it re-released on PSP in 2006 in Japan and 2007 in the EU, U.S. and Australia. So yes. Australia got some Pot Rappa. I remember the first time I played that game was on a demo disc for PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, that? I remember that. Demo I remember that discs. distinctly. And uh, so Pot Rappa is a rapping dog whose motto is, I gotta believe. The player has to match symbols at the top of the screen to make Pot Rappa rap. A you rapping meter indicates how well the player's doing, ranking as awful, bad, good, and cool. You look fly. <laughs> you look fly. The game was followed by Um Jammer Lammy, which was released in 1999. Do you ever play Um Jammer Lammy? No. Yeah, I never did either. <laughs> I don't think anybody That's why it's not on Top X. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't right. make the cut. Are you ready for number one? Are you guys ready for number the one? The top rhythm game, as decided by us, 
arbitrarily. No. Yep. Because we give it fourteen unicorns out of twenty nine hundred unicorns. Unicorns with one horn because <laughs> it's a unicorn. Well, it'd be a bicorn <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> a bicorn? Is this real? Insert coin theater after hours? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so number, number one. one. Get out of my head, George. <laughs> that was disturbing. <laughs> Rock band and guitar hero. Yeah. All right, so let's give let's give our reasoning here. So Rock Band and Guitar Hero are the kings of rhythm games. Yes, there's they they came oh, out God. on so many platforms. They came out on the DS, um on uh, everything every console <laughs> like no joke like every console um and uh they've had a ton of variations they've had a ton of spin-offs like there was a lego yep. rock band yep all sorts of crazy stuff and uh they brought rhythm into the home in a new and fairly unobtrusive way giving players a chance to play fake guitar to their favorite songs and believe me we played the hell out of those fake yeah guitars. that is faux show Later, um, when Rock Band expanded into an entire band setup and Guitar Hero followed suit, they became games not only focusing on guitar rhythm, but drums, bass, and lyrical rhythm as well. And that combination of challenges is unmatched right now yeah, in rhythm who games. Who doesn't want to start a fake band with their friends? Jesus. You know what? We need to get back to playing. I got the whole set. We need to do it. Let's do it. Do we know more people? No. It's just going to be guitar and vocals. What more do you need? I can sing. I there can sing go. like a, a champ. Sing like a king. I believe in a thing called love. Just in the middle of love. See? It was haunting. <laughs> haunting. <laughs> I feel like I was above my own body looking down. <laughs> <laughs> Watching myself scream like a banshee. <laughs> anyway, so Guitar Hero. And Rock Band. And Rock Band. Number best. one for rhythm. Thank you so much yeah, for thanks, having guys. a listen to Top X. Um, we Hope are you enjoy the new show. Yes, we are We are from Insert Coin Theater. All the way. Indeed. From. So please check us out, insertcointheater.com. Subscribe here on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also check us out at uh, facebook.com slash insert coin theater or YouTube or YouTube. We're on YouTube. We're Twitter. everywhere. I'm now, in Twitter. Twitter.com. We're on the Twitter tube. Sla- <laughs> <laughs> we just invented a new thing. Twitter.com slash ICT underscore podcast. Thank you so much. I'm Tim. I'm George. And we'll see you Peace. next time.